All right, there we go. Good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to Dewpoint. My name is Rob van der Bell. I'm one of the executives here. Um, I'm going to be spending the next 50 or so minutes with you this evening. Uh, we're going to be going over what this business is all about, uh, what the opportunity is all about, um, and then afterwards you are welcome to come speak to me, ask me any questions that you might have. Uh, welcome to everyone who's tuned in on the live stream around the country. So you are our live studio audience, but we've got whole bunch of people watching us at the same time so the people in the front row don't move your heads too much they can see you in the camera <laughs> all righty so let's begin uh, as you can see uh, Dewpoint is a division of Constantia Insurance Company Limited Constantia uh, is a fairly old business uh, it's been around for nearly seven decades we were founded in 1952 we don't share offices with Constantia they're down the road in Randburg that's their orange logo that they use you probably won't recognize that they don't typically deal with consumers like you and I they've always dealt with other financial service providers in the past. Uh, they are a registered insurance company in South Africa. That's very important. Uh, the FSP number that we operate under is that one over there. Uh, you'll notice in the foyer above the water cooler, as per regulation, we've got all our financial services board licenses on display. So we've got a long and short term insurance license. We've got an investment license and we've got our FSP, our financial services provider license, up on display for you to go have a look at. We've also got our accreditation and direct marketing and the direct selling associations. We take credibility very seriously. Why? Because we know that you need to trust the business that we're going to be speaking about this evening. Credibility is extremely important when looking at any business opportunity. So uh, go do a background check on us. You can uh, Google us. You can hello Peter us. You can go check my personal Facebook profile. Make sure I haven't been up to anything dodgy in my past, right? Okay. Um, so a little bit of uh, background on some of the executives and the managers here at Dewpoint. Um, the three characters on the far left are all registered chartered accountants, starting with Brendan, who you saw here this evening. He's our uh, senior executive. He heads up this division. Uh, he's got a lot of experience in financial services, particularly in insurance, because his family have been involved in insurance his entire life. His father has been involved in insurance since he left school, I think, for about 50 years now already. He was a um, a professor at Wits who taught at Wits for 25 years. He started a number of businesses globally. Um, they've had a lot of success in the space. Uh, Brendan and his brother Stuart followed in their father's footsteps. Stuart, uh, Brendan's brother, is also a chartered accountant. Um, and together they went on to found a business down the road called Pri Prime Meridian Direct or PMD, which is now I think the fourth biggest short-term insurer in the country. So um, a lot of financial pedigree in Brendan. Uh, Tim and Stacy, they head up our auditing and the financial aspects of our business. Uh, Tim's got a lot of experience in corporate banking. He was with the First Rand Group for about 15 years in a fairly senior position there. Stacy, uh, she worked for Deloitte all her career, so she's very experienced in auditing. She worked here as well as overseas. Um, so those are the boring accountants. Then the more colorful characters, Jane and myself, uh, we aren't accountants, but Jane is very experienced in direct marketing or direct selling, and that is fundamental to our business because even though we're an insurance company, our growth is very much dependent on our ability to work within the network marketing space, and Jane brings international experience with her to our team. She's from the UK. She's been in South Africa for about 10 years, and then myself, I've been working in advertising and marketing all my career, so that's about 20 years now. Uh, and I ran a digital agency for about 15 of those years before I left that business and came to join the team here at Dewpoint. So that's some information on us and the business. Uh, we've also got client service staff that work with us. We've got some admin staff. Our mandate as staff at Dewpoint is to support everybody that joins us. Right, so that's one of our primary focuses in this business. We do not hide behind our, that glass wall that you see over there. Even though you can't get through there, we come out very often to meet with you. Uh, because we want to support you in this endeavor. We want to see you as effective as possible because as a business, we can only be profitable if you're being effective. Okay, so lean into that support. Um, it's fully available to everybody. This is a very negative slide, unfortunately. I've had criticism about this slide because um, what we do here is we discuss the driving factors or the environment that we find ourselves in in South Africa from a personal finance point of view. Right? Is anyone happy with their personal finance situation at the moment? Right? And it is a very negative uh, topic to discuss. It can be fairly depressing, almost as depressing as watching carte blanche on a Sunday. Um, but we have to pay it recognition, I think, right? Because I think very easy, it's, to, it's easy to turn a blind eye to it. Uh, but we have to briefly just highlight these things. For us, they are driving factors. Uh, we look at the economy. We have very high interest rates. We've got very high inflation. We've got even higher food inflation. Food inflation was sitting at 11% like 18 months ago, which is astronomical. Uh, we see it in the fact that our salaries are not keeping up with the cost of living. You will feel that at the end of every month, right, when you do your budgeting. 
You'll think, why am I running out of money? Check your salary. Am I getting paid less every month? No, food is going up like 10% a year. And your salary is only going up 5% if you're lucky. Right? And so we have this growing issue. Unfortunately, uh, we are criticized by using debt to try and remedy that problem. And it doesn't actually fix the issue. It might seem to you that it alleviates the financial pressure for you in the very short term, but it actually exacerbates the problem. And what South Africans find themselves suddenly falling into is this debt cycle. So the debt cycle will exist for us every month, right? You feel that at the end of every month, and it exists for us on an annual basis. And particularly in last month and this month, you will feel it, right? Everyone in December and January. We see it in our businesses. We can see that debit orders drop. The success of debit orders in our business drop <coughs> over the entire spectrum of businesses that we have because people are suffering in December. They decide, stuff it, I'm going to buy the kids Christmas presents and we're going on holiday. I don't care how much the credit card is owed, right? Yeah. And suddenly there's no money in the account and we try to debit those accounts and they don't have they don't go off successfully. And the problem becomes exacerbated because it really comes to a head when we get to retirement. So the question you're going to be asking yourself when you get to retirement, uh, and if you're younger than 40, you probably don't ask that question. When you're over, the, over 40, you start to go, ooh, retirement's now closer than what school was, high school was, you right? You have a little panic. Um, and the question you're going to be asking yourself is, what have I done in the last 40 to 45 years to secure a dignified retirement for myself when the time you get to retirement? You're going to go and say, well, this is the investment that I've created over a lifetime of working for somebody else, and this is going to secure me a dignified retirement where I get paid out interest from the investment I made, right? Unfortunately, 97% of South Africa of our population get to retirement realizing that they haven't done enough. They become financially dependent. They actually cannot survive through the month. 97% of us. So we've got about 60 people in the room. So maybe one person in the room is going to retire financially dependent. The rest of us are going to have to downgrade our lifestyles to a significant extent. We're going to become dependent on children and other family members. And so you become a burden to your children. And you have this generational issue with regards to finance that just carries on. It proliferates over generations. And really what this presentation is about is about changing the circumstance, right? And I'm sure everyone in the audience is tired of the circumstance. Unfortunately, you look at your job, you look at your company, you typically look at the economy, there's no hope on the horizon, right? There's very few people that can say, oh, it looks like my company and the economy is going to be doing great this year. I'm going to sort my debt out this year, right? We are scrambling at the end of every month just to make ends meet. Um, and so the opportunity is, is to join a business um, that the average South African can engage with uh, to change their circumstance. And so the Dewpoint system, as a business, we saw this opportunity. We saw an opportunity to create this platform for average South Africans to, to engage with. We called it the Dewpoint system. It's almost two years old, so we launched it almost 24 months ago. Uh, and we have three aspirations in mind for the people in our business. Uh, you might be thinking, well, I'm just here to make extra money, right? That's what everyone thinks they're here for. But money is just a means to an end. So we have aspirations for the people in this business. Number one is we want to see people in this business aspire to becoming debt-free. We want you to aspire to becoming debt-free. That's never been something that I've ever aimed for. I've always thought, oh, owing money on the credit card, uh, owing money on the bond, and owing money on a car, that's just something that's going to live with me forever. Right? I've never aspired to getting rid of my debt as quickly as possible, really ever, in the last 20 years. And we want people in this business to aspire towards that, because what, the what this opportunity is about is about creating wealth. Right? We want to be rich, don't we? Right? In some way or another. But we want to create wealth. You cannot create wealth if you owe other people money. It goes without saying. So obviously the first aspiration is to get rid of your debt as quickly as possible. Then the second aspiration is to start creating wealth. We do that through uh, ownership of assets, uh, ownership of investments uh, that hopefully appreciate. And then the third aspiration happens on its own, and that's to feel better, to be happier, to not be stressed at the end of the month. Right? So those are our three aspirations. You can align yourself with that. You don't have to. It's completely up to you. You can just buy a fancier car every month. If that's what you want to do, that's fine. All right? Choice is yours. So our guests here this evening, you've got the opportunity to join Dewpoint. What happens is you actually contract with us. Once you contract with us, we call you wealth engineers. Right? And as wealth engineers, uh, we expect one thing of you, and that is to go out and build what we call channels of distribution. And I'll show you what a channel of distribution looks like, but basically it's you introducing people to Dewpoint. Right? And our online platform will facilitate the sale 
of product to those people that you introduce to us. And that's basically how the entire business model works. The benefit for you is that you get to create additional income by building these channels of distribution. But what's important to note is that you get to create recurring income, not once-off income. Right? Some people call it passive income. I fondly refer to my father's description of it when I was 12 years old. He said, make money while you sleep. As a 12-year-old, I had no idea what he was talking about. <laughs> uh, no idea. I learned to appreciate what he was trying to teach me much later on in life. I had to run my own business for about eight, nine years when I suddenly realized, I'm going to be doing this until I drop dead. Because the business I ran was an agency. So we had designers, we had developers, we had sales staff. But our money was for the month. On the first of every month, we started at zero again. Nothing I did in the previous month paid me in the next month. Right? And I realized that we couldn't create recurring income in my business. So we tried for about another five years, and then I started looking for other options. Right? And that's when I eventually exited the business. Um, recurring income is something inherent to insurance companies. It's a great benefit that you get to share in, in this business. You get to harness the power duplication through this business. Uh, so I trust that everyone's got very limited time to afford this business. So what we've done is we've built the system that allows you to afford leverage for yourself. So let's say you only have an hour to afford the business per day, right? But if you go out and you find other people to collaborate with you successfully, let's say, for example, you go find 20 people that are effective, resourceful, and they do the same work that you're doing. Now you're collaborating successfully with 20 other people. Perhaps they're each investing an hour into your business. Now you have 21 hours being invested into your business on a daily basis. That's leverage, right? These two benefits, recurring income and leverage or power duplication, are your ability to rid yourself of the time constraint, right? Where we are very much constrained by time at our employers, right? We have a contract that says you work eight hours a day, 40 hours a week. For the month, I pay you a salary. You work a minute over, do you earn more? Do you work an hour over, do you earn more? Does anyone actually get paid overtime? in the audience. Anyone? No. Right? They don't get paid overtime. Um, so you've got this very limited. You're limited by your time constraint. Uh, the business is flexi time. So you have the luxury of deciding when you want to do this business. Right? Does it look like something that's once every Thursday evening? Is it every week in the evening? Uh, is it weekends? You get to choose that. But at the same time, don't make the mistake of thinking you can be successful in this business if you only do it when you feel like it. Things that we only do when we feel like it, those are called hobbies, like reading and playing games. Right? This is a business opportunity. If you want to thrive in this business opportunity, you've got to do it when you don't feel like it. You have to keep yourself accountable to being completely engaged with Dewpoint on a regular basis. Uh, there's no startup capital in our business. We don't have registration fees. We don't have boxes of product that you have to invest in to get started in our business. And so we make it as risk-free as possible. You don't have, uh, there's no need for qualifications or experience in our business. I often tease the audience, is that anyone drop their CVs off at reception? <laughs> Nobody. Why did you assume you could come earn money and you don't even bring a CV with you? Oh. Right? What type of business is this? Fortunately, we're not interested in that. I'm interested in work ethic, nothing else, right? So we make the business as um, uh, accessible to everybody as possible. You get to build an asset. Now, this is probably one of the most important benefits on the slide, is building an asset. It is the antithesis of employment. Because in employment, what we're going to be doing is you're going to be spending 40 to 45 years working for somebody else, building up someone else's asset, where you typically don't get to partake in the upside. Right? So if the company starts doing well or doubles, do you get a double your dividend check every quarter? Do you go home and tell your spouse, oh, look at my shares in the business, they're doing really well this, this year, right? We don't get to partake typically in the upside. We're just seen as employees, but we, we're forced to participate in the downside of business. The downside of business is when your boss says, sorry, the economy is doing really badly and the company is suffering a bit, so there's no raises this year. And you can say to your boss, but food's gone up by 10% this year. Sorry, we can't do anything about it. Or if the business really does badly, then they start talking about retrenchment. Right? In this business, the time that you sacrifice contributing into building these channels of distribution, you've actually got legal tender over this channel of distribution. You own it. Right? It'll carry on paying you once you retire. It'll carry on paying you once you die. So you can cede it to your beneficiaries. You can leave it in your will. So I'm hoping that you'll be glad to sacrifice time into building an asset that you have ownership over. There's no selling involved in our business. Who loves to sell? 
especially on the weekends. Anyone? Okay, we've got a s star salesman in the back. There's usually about 1% of the population that thrive in sales. The rest of us are terrified of sales, right? So we actually contract you out of selling. This is a great benefit because we're so scared of selling. Um, the nature of our products are financial in nature, so we don't have the stock and distribution issues that tangible products have. Like I said, there's no boxes of product that you have to buy to get started. You don't have to bring your uncle's bucky to load up vitamins and milkshakes tonight, right? And then you get a bit lazy or you get sick over January and then you realize they expire in February. Then you're going to be selling like a machine in February, right? So we make the products as convenient as possible. But your, your growth and your success in this business is very much dependent on your ability to grow these channels of distribution. So I was told you I was going to show you what one looks like. It begins with you. Picture yourself as the MD or the CEO of your channel of distribution. You're going to go out and look for like-minded individuals that are taken by this opportunity that will start collaborating with you, right? And if you're successful in that and you're able to refer people to this business and we're able to place a product with them, that is the beginning of your channel of distribution. So there you've got five people that joined your channel of distribution. They are going to go out and do exactly the same thing as you, right? They have the same target, the same aspirations in mind that you do. And they will go start their own channels. All of this collaboration is in your interest. It is in your benefit because all of this is your channel. Do you see where the power duplication and the leverage comes into play? Because you could have a channel with this many people in purely based on the first five people that you introduce to the business. If you don't believe me in terms of this leverage, go speak to any of the wealth engineers <coughs> that have been here for the last 22 months. Ask them what size their channels are today and ask them how many people they personally introduced. That will very quickly illustrate the leverage that exists in our business. And so my hope is that you will build a sustainable business, right? We build a sustainable business by being, bringing quality, dependable people into our business. We don't go onto the street, put up a dew point sign, and then welcome anyone who's walking past to join your business. That's why I say picture yourself as the CEO of your channel of distribution because what you're going to be doing is you're going to be going out and building a board of executives or a board of directors, Right? You don't just bring anyone in. You want to bring in the best quality, the most resourceful, the most effective people at that stage. Because if you build a sustainable business, you'll be in a position in a few years' time where you don't have to nurse your business anymore. You can be in a position where you can sit back and Dewpoint will pay you a return every single month and you could be on holiday. You could take a three-month holiday and sit back and watch the money come in. Make money while you're sleeping. See what my father was talking about, right? So that's what a channel of distribution looks like. This is our disclaimer slide. Uh, the FSB likes us to warn everybody about any earning opportunity. So I'm going to warn you now. One, you might have had some fear that we were a scheme of some sort, right? Okay, so I'm going to tell you now. We're not a scheme of any sort. We're listed on the Joburg Stock Exchange. We're regulated by the Financial Services Board. We've got a very reputable individual in, in this business. And at the same time, you will never hear from our mouth or Brendan's that success comes easily. Never. If you are willing to work, that's why I say I'm only interested in people's work ethic. Not about your background. We've got housewives. We've got people with matric, people without matric, people with corporate experience, people without corporate experience, all making this business work for themselves because it's purely dependable on time sacrifice, effort, and this long-term vision of being engaged in this business. Right? If you're willing to partake in that downside of entrepreneurship, then I can say to you, yes, you can be successful, but I'll never promise you success easily. So that's my my disclaimer slide, my warning slide. You might be thinking, why on earth has got pictures of ballerinas' feet up on the slide? Because we think entrepreneurship looks like this, right? Like the ballet pump. That's what we think. But anyone got a successful entrepreneur friend? I bumped into one now. I've just come back from Jim, bumped into him. He started a network infrastructure business. He's the guy that comes and wires the offices up. He's on his third Porsche. Yeah. His third one. Hey? Fiddling with wires, right? Anyone got successful entrepreneur friends? You think it's easy, right? They've got the nice car, they've got a nice spouse, nice house, the dog even looks good. Um, <laughs> but we don't realize, we don't appreciate the hard work that goes into it. So like the ballet dancer, professional ballet dancer, 10,000 hours of ballet dancing, that's what your foot looks like. When we go to the show, that's what we see. But in real life, Behind the scenes, that's what it takes. The blood, the grit, the sweat, right? Okay, that's why we've got a ballerina's foot up on the slide. 
All right, so let's talk about how we earn at Dewpoint. There's two ways to earn. Uh, one is through our returns program. A returns program is what we pay you at the end of every single month. That's where you create your recurring income. And the second way is through our rewards program. So I'm going to show you the returns program first. We pay a base return fee of 27 Rand 50 for every product that you have in your channel. Right? Um, so remember the first five individuals you introduced to your business? That product actually lies on your first point. See, relative to you, that's one point away. And on your first point, we pay you double the 27 Rand 50. And those people go out and they bring in other people. That product lies on your second point. And on your second point, again, we pay you 55 Rand every month. Remember, it's recurring income. To your third point, to your fourth point, as your channel starts to grow and grow, you can see the multiplier starts to drop uh, towards the eighth point. But we actually stop it there. We don't stop it. We don't stop your channel at the eighth point, but we stop the 4%. So from the 8th point onwards, in theory into infinity, we will keep paying you 4%. Right? We've already got wealth engineers that are closing in on about 0.30 in their channels in the space of 22 months. We pay them beyond 0.8. That same 4%, um, we don't limit you on the size of your channel. We don't limit you on how much money you can earn at due point. Right? If you can get to 0.30 in 2 years, what can you do in 20 years? So no, there's no limitation. The accountability will always lie with you. So this is the mechanics of the returns. The next question we often get is, well, how much do people earn in this business? I understand there's 55 Rand per product, but how much do people earn? So what we did was we built this path to success as a projection over the next five years. Um, but it's based on a premise. It's based on a growth formula that we call 3 plus 2. It assumes as a brand new wealth engineer that you can bring three people into your business in your first month. And then every consecutive month thereafter, you only have to bring in another two people. Right? So we're in pretty much the beginning of January. Beginning of January, you bring three people in January. In February, you only have to bring in two. March, another two. So on and so forth. Right? Into perpetuity. So it's 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. Carry on going. So if you follow that growth formula, after six months, you can be kind of expecting to earn about two and a half thousand rand a month in recurring income. I'm trying to spot all the guests here to see if they're impressed with two and a half thousand rand or bitterly disappointed. I drove all the way to Bryanston and traffic is offering two and a half thousand rand after six months worth of work. Right? I was disappointed. The accountant showed me the projection. I looked at it and I said, six months of work, two and a half thousand rand. My time is worth more than that. But what I learned from these boring accountants is the appreciation of money, right? The mistake I make constantly is I think like a consumer all the time, all the time. You give me two and a half thousand rand, I say that's not worth much. Why? Because I'm equating it to everything I can buy. It's a week's worth of groceries. It's maybe a nice pair of shoes, right? And that's it. It's lunch out a few times. The problem with that is that we don't give it the value that it can afford you, the leverage that money can afford you, right? So our first aspiration was to get rid of your debt as quickly as possible. So I want to illustrate the value of that to you with a little two and a half thousand rand because it's very easy to turn your nose up at that. Here we've got an example of someone with a one million rand debt in the form of a bond. So I assume everyone here has got debt, right? The whole country is indebted, right? So it's an appropriate illustration. A million rand debt, if you my age, 40, and you engage in a bond now, I will look forward to making my last installment when I'm 60. Hopefully just before I retire, right? Because I'll need the money to pay the bond off. Um, and that's why you can't get a bond, typically, the closer you get to the age of 60, because they know you're going to be retired, how are you going to pay the bond back? So anyway, I get a bond, prime plus two, I'm paying back at about 11,500 rand a month, right? So I'm going to pay 11,500 rand to the bank every single month for 20 years, and finally pay the house off when I'm 60. But now, at the age of 40, I joined Dewpoint, and with some success, six months later, I'm earning 2,500 rand. And I listen to Rob and the accountants, and I decide, okay, let's try to pay this debt off faster. Right? So I put the 2,500 rand as an additional payment into the bond. What is the net effect of that? I reduce the term of my bond from 20 years to 11 and a half years. I nearly halve the term of my bond. I now become a homeowner at the age of 51 instead of 60. Do you know how much money it saves you in interest? In hard currency payments back to the bank that you don't have to make anymore. It saves you almost a million rand in cash. That's the entire value of the house you finance to begin with. Six months away. That'll save you a million rand. That's an extra million rand you can put into your retirement. At 12 months, you're earning in excess of 100,000 rand in annual recurring income. 
right? It's over 100,000 rand a year. Who would like a 100,000 rand check every Christmas? Don't you wish you were at this presentation last year? <coughs> right? 12 months ago. Why are you telling me now? Just nudge that person who invited you. Say, why are you invite me so late? We keep going. After 24 months, we're closing in on 30,000 rand a month. That escalated quickly, didn't it? Two and a half thousand. Now suddenly we have 30,000 rand. Two plus, three plus two, 24 months later. You keep going. At 36 months, you had almost 50,000 rand a month in recurring income. I've got another illustration for you. The 30 month mark, you're probably earning about 36,000 rand. But you also have a 5 million rand bond. So 5 million rand debt. Now, I would love to also buy a Porsche so I can show my successful friend that I'm also being successful in life. Right? That's a decision we make every day. I can spend or I can invest. I can spend or I can invest. If I decide to invest or pay my debt off sooner, and I put 36,000 Rand into my bond as an additional payment, I'll pay that 5 million Rand house off in less than 7 years. At the age of 47, I'll be a homeowner. At the age of 54, I could pay off a second 5 million rand house. At the age of 61, I would have paid off a third 5 million rand house. So now when I'm ready to retire, I have three houses. 15 million rand in assets that I own. I live in the one, I rent the other two out. 60, 70,000 rand in passive income from rental property coming in, plus what Dewpoint's paying me. Do you think I'm going to be worried about my retirement no. when I know I've planned this for myself? You keep going. After 48 months, you're getting close to about 70,000 rand a month. And after 60 months, five years away, you created for yourself about a million rand in annual recurring income. Five years away. Think about what you were doing five years ago. I was just thinking, when I saw the friend with the Porsche, I was thinking, where, what have I done with the last 20 years? Right? Let alone five years ago. But we have to make the decision 60 months before we get to realize the fruits of getting to a position like this. We have to make a decision 21 years before we can realize the fruits of the assets that we get to build for ourselves. So this is all academic because this is something the accountants came up with. You can certainly do less than 3 plus 2 every month because 3 plus 2 is just an example. We don't hold you to it. Uh, but you can do more than 3 plus 2. If you want more than what we've illustrated here, yeah, it's up to you. We've got wealth engineers that we showcase every single month that are either doing more than 3 plus 2 or they show some form of tenacity in the business, which is very important. Here's Nick and Shaney. They've joined in on the 8th of September, so that's about, what, 14, 15 months ago. Uh, they weren't tracking 3 plus 2, so they were a little bit behind. When we all turned our noses up at 2,500 rand a month, you would have thought, geez, that's after 6 months. They only got there after 10 months. Don't you think they should have quit? 2,400 Rand after 10 months. I bet some of you would quit. Don't you think? Let me give you another illustration to the value of money. How much money do you need in your bank account? Because this is the question you're going to ask yourself when you get to retirement. How much money do you need in your bank account to afford yourself 2,500 Rand in interest every month? You need half a million Rand sitting in an account. My account just says negative. And he's talking about positive. You need positive half a million to generate this kind of money every month. Do you understand the value of money now? We look at it very differently. I'm hoping Dewpoint will serve as a paradigm shift for a lot of people so that we think differently about money. Right? That'll change the way we behave when we look at money. Here's Jack. He joined about a year ago uh, in November, because this is uh, last year's presentation. Uh, in November, he was earning over 8,000 Rand a month. Uh, Don Landon from PE. 14th of December, so also about a year by November. So after 11 months, he was earning uh, in excess of 11,000 Rand a month. And then Motla Etsona, who's here with us today, all the way from the Free State. Um, 17th of April, May, June, July. Three months, 5,000 Rand a month. Everybody is different in our business. Everybody is different. Everyone is running their own race. Think of it as like a, a comrade's marathon. Right? Everyone's going off at different paces. But everyone wants to be like Bruce Fordyce, right? Run your own race in this business. Decide what you want out of this business and then strategize to get there. Goal making is so important in business and in life. Right? 
set your goals and strategize on how to get there. We've got thousands of people joining this business every single month that have created additional income streams for themselves. It must be very exciting to develop a second line of income for yourselves. I get very excited at the prospect when someone comes to tell me that they're earning more from their flexi time job than what their bosses are paying them. Wouldn't that be great? That's the first time you get to tell your boss what you really think of them. Do you realize that? Who can tell their bosses what they really think of them at the moment? None of us have that luxury. <laughs> your wife is your boss. Be careful. Right? Financial liberation affords us so much more than just things in life. Um, so this is our returns program. This is where you're going to build recurring income through our returns program. The second way is through our rewards program. Right? I told you there's two ways. So the second way is our XP rewards program. It works like this. When you become an active wealth engineer, uh, we give you XP, experience points for the things that you do, like coming to presentations, bringing guests with you, watching training, logging into the site, doing all kinds of things. There's about 20, 21 different things that you can do that earn you XP. And when you start collecting more and more XP, and your business starts to grow in terms of the size of your channel, uh, you get rewards along the way, right? So you can see it as a bit of fun, an incentive program that goes along. So you can see it starts at rank one. If you become a wealth engineer this evening, you will be rank zero. Right? You're not important to us. We don't even put you on the slide. Mm -hmm. I'm not interested in people joining. I'm interested in people working. So you need to get to rank one. Uh, you need 1,000 XP, which is very easy, and a qualified channel size of four. So you need four products in your qualified channel. When you meet those two criteria, we give you a one, so 55 rand, a whole 55 ZA rond. You can go buy what can you buy with 55 rand? A muffin, a cappuccino, celebrate on your own, right? Early success, early success. Because what I'm going to tell you now is if you can get to rank one, I promise you, you can get to rank 20. Activity is exactly the same. Because you're going to carry on earning XP and you're going to carry on building your business. And as you rank up, you see the rewards get bigger. There's a 20,000 rand check, a 50,000 rand check. We give tools to our wealth engineers to help them along the way, to build their channels more effectively, faster. So you had rank five, yeah, you can see Patrick and Pumi holding the little uh, fancy USB drive that we gave them. This little USB drive has got all our video collateral on there, but more importantly, it can plug into any device. So it can plug into Android and Apple devices. Uh, you can plug them into TVs nowadays, laptops, tablets. It plugs into anything. So regardless of what device they have around them, Patrick and Pumi can show people the dew point videos, right? The opportunity that exists. At rank seven, we spend 12 and a half thousand rand on each set of business cards for our rank seven wealth engineers. They are, when I say luxurious business cards, in my 20 years in advertising, I've never ever seen anyone with business cards like this. Never, right? I've traveled overseas all over the place for business. No one has got business cards like this. Why would we spend so much money on business cards? Would any of you spend seven and a half thousand rand on a set of business cards? Right? Probably never. But the importance of credibility and first impressions in this business is very detrimental to your business, right? If you put a 12,500 rand business card on a table when the person sitting opposite you has never heard of Dewpoint, your credibility first starts off on the floor. But when you put that card down and as it wobbles onto the table and it blinds him because we've got gold on the card, and he realizes, or she realizes, that that card's 50 times more expensive than the one they've got in their wallet. They probably won't take theirs out. They're too embarrassed. <laughs> it suddenly affords you this credibility, right? A few more minutes to explain what Dewpoint's all about. Go speak to our rank sevens. They'll tell you the awe at which people look at their business cards. They'll probably let you feel the business card. They won't give you one. Right? They only give prospects business cards. Um, at rank nine, rank nine is our one... Uh, rank that is recurring. So what does that mean? All the other rewards um, and the ranks are once-offs, right? You get the 55 rand once-off, you get the business cards once-off, um, but at rank 9 you get to enjoy a recurring reward and that is a international conference with Dewpoint, uh, which is seven days away to a five-star resort, um, business class flight, you and your family, every single year for the rest of your life. Once you get to rank 9, once you've built up that recurring income and that you had rank nine, right? It's a thousand products in your qualified channel. You'll get to enjoy that trip every single year with your family. So, coincidentally, we've just come off the beach <laughs> from our last rank nine trip, right? And I'm going to share with you what we did. So take a look.
We always get to laugh at Pumi's expense, right? I think Pumi thought the fish were going to eat her instead of the bread. All right, so that's ranked nine. Um, half the wealth engineers that joined us on this trip got to rank nine, I think, in uh, less than a year. Um, one person in five months, right? So our next trip is in December. You've got about 11 months to get there. So if you really want to commit to this business, engage over 2018, you've got all the possibility to get to this trip uh, before uh, the cutoff. Um, and the cutoff is just, it's an annual cutoff, right, for the trip. So if you don't make it this year, you've got all the chance to make it the following year. There's no deadline on any of our ranks. You want to take 10 years to get to rank 9, you can take 10 years to get to rank 9. Um, at rank 11, we spend a quarter of a million rand on a brand new car and present that to our wealth engineers. No debit order at the end of the month. Anyone got a car without a debit order at the end of the month? Those are great cars to own, right? The ones without the debit orders. Um, so that's our rewards program up to rank 11. You saw it go up to rank 20. We've designed it up to rank 28. 28. What happens at 28 if you get a car at rank 11? Bugatti. Bugatti. <laughs> Someone once said a new, new husband, a new husband at rank 28. <laughs> Wishful thinking, right? There's a third way to benefit as a wealth engineer, and that is through our wealth quests. So wealth quest is a uh, incentive or a challenge that we issue to our wealth engineers every month. It runs from the first of the month to the last day of the month only. Uh, January's is called Hit 2018 Sprinting. Uh, if you can bring 20 people onto your first point in the month of January, we will give you an extra 10,000 rand, plus what we're paying you in your returns, plus you probably get to about rank two or rank three um, in the space of a single month. So there's all the incentive that you need this month. Hopefully that serves as great motivation. We get asked, how does Dewpoint work? What is the business model here? It seems like you're spending too much money on these wealth engineers. Um, so this slide basically illustrates our business model. Traditional insurance companies spend a lot of money. They've got massive budgets for advertising. At Dewpoint, we don't spend a cent of ad on advertising. You won't see a Dewpoint logo outside of our building. Nothing. We depend on our wealth engineers to go out and tell people 
and expose people to the dew point opportunity. And so we don't need to spend billions on advertising and marketing like typical insurance companies do. We can attribute uh, a portion of our budget to the returns and rewards program to the benefit of our wealth engineers. And that's basically how our business model works here. Uh, we've got three products here at Dewpoint. Uh, their benefit are all financial in nature. Uh, the first product is called the Access Wealth Plan. It is our investment product. Uh, it's actually broken up into two parts or two products. Um, for 299 Rand a month, 100 Rand will get invested into a tax-free investment fund in your name. Uh, it is a full access. You can see there, no restriction uh, account. That means you don't have to give us notice to draw out the funds out of that investment. Um, so that goes into a Sunlum investment. It's traded by uh, fund managers that we have. And then with that, you get a little bit of personal accident cover to the extent to the value of 110,000 Rand. Right? So if you have this investment and something happens to you, you're killed in some form of accident, we'll pay out your beneficiaries 110,000 Rand plus whatever's in the investment. Okay, so this is the investment product, Access Wealth. The second product is called Wealth Guard. This is strictly an insurance product uh, for 274 Rand a month. But this time you get 1.1 million rands worth of personal accident cover. So what's important to note is some people often, well, a lot of people, I guess because I work in insurance, I take it for granted. But when I say insurance, people think I'm talking about life insurance or funeral cover. I'm not talking about life insurance or funeral cover. This is personal accident cover. It covers you in the event of dying in an accident, right? The beauty of that, why have we done that, is that we are able to offer this product to anyone over the age of 18. Because we don't profile you from a health risk point of view. Right? So if I had to offer you funeral cover or health cover, then I'd be saying to you, okay, well, what's your age? What is your health status? Please fill out every doctor you've visited in the last 20 years. And if you default on any of that, then I can repudiate your claim. So this is a very clean cut product. We can offer it to anyone over the age of 18, regardless of your age, regardless of your health status. The premium will remain the same. The amount of cover that you receive remains the same. So that's our insurance product, Wealth Guard. The third product is called the Wealth Points Buyers Club Program. So what Wealth Points aims to do is to save you money on the money that you spend every month anyway. Right? So we are shopping all the time, cost of living. Uh, take a look at the partners or the businesses that we've got listed there. I bet you you spend money at at least one of those businesses, one of those partners. So what we've done is gone out and negotiated discounts with these businesses. Right? And for 274 Rand a month, you get to enjoy the discounts that we've negotiated there. Um, so for example, we've got always on Wi-Fi data. You get a gig of data there for 36 Rand. That's a third of their normal cost. So the discounts are different with all the partners. You can go get more information on all our products on our website, but the products have been designed to be straightforward, right? There's no, nothing more complicated than what I'm explaining to you here. If you want a full depth review on the products, uh, we've got a development seminar next Saturday um, on our products, but we've already got stuff on YouTube. So you can have a 15 minute video just strictly on each product if you want to get a lot more information on the products. Uh, but if you have any questions, come speak to me. I'll answer any questions that you might have. So what is the decision we really need to make this evening? Um, often, the last year, I've summarized it as, you know, really being realistic with what is going on here, whether you're able to and willing to partake in the downside of entrepreneurship. Um, I saw this when I was watching an Elon Musk interview. He says, everybody romanticizes entrepreneurship. We do, right? Like the ballerina's foot, the glossy foot in the ballet pump. We look at it as this thing that, you know, lucky people can achieve, but it's on offer to everybody here, but it requires work. There's a downside to entrepreneurship. We make it as easy as possible. We think it's probably the foremost opportunity that exists in South Africa because we've made it so accessible to the population and so low risk, but it still requires the work. Right? We're not a get-rich-quick scheme. I don't say put 5,000 rand here and bring me four people, I'll double it next week. Right? Only people from Russian prisons can promise you things like that. <laughs> So that's what's on offer. I think that for me, that's the decision you might have in your head. I hope you let your imaginations run wild this evening with the potential that a business like this can afford you. Um, and so at the same time, I want you at the same time to have decided in your head, well, I can afford to do this much in a week with Dewpoint. This is how much I can engage in Dewpoint to get what I want out of Dewpoint, right? So I think that for me is the decision. Uh, getting started is very simple. Read our code of conduct. It defines what you cannot, can and cannot do as a wealth engineer. Uh, registering as a wealth engineer is very straightforward. You can do it on our website. Uh, just click on the apply button. Uh, or you can do it on the mobile app that the person that invited you has on their phone. Um, it takes you about seven minutes to become a wealth engineer. And then once you become a wealth engineer, you need to start applying yourself to this business. So I ask that you would go look at some of our training. 
We've got seven videos that make up our basic series, right? They're an hour each. It's a lot less than going to study for five years at university. I only ask for seven hours. Right? Go look at those videos. It explains every facet of our business and how to build a channel of distribution. Uh, and then set goals for yourself. Like I touched on earlier, goals are fundamental to getting anywhere in life. Set goals for yourself. Write them down. Tell your family that they're written down. Put them on the fridge and be explicit in their description. They serve to keep you accountable to where you want to go in life. So set up the goals. Prepare a plan to get there. The plan is typically how many people do I need to speak to a day to get to this position. The basic activity of speaking to people. This business is not complicated. It's about you just telling people that Dewpoint exists and this business opportunity exists. You're not trying to convince them of anything. You're not trying to convince them to buy anything. I will do all the work. You connect them to this presentation, whether it's on the live stream or on a USB stick or you watch showing them something on YouTube. I will do all the work. I'll do the work like I'm doing now. Right? You just have to connect those people to me. It's a very simple, straightforward business formula. We've got merchandise. This is not a profit center for us. We were hoping these would be tools that will help you build your businesses more effectively. Very important, consider getting business cards. Not consider. If you're going to be a wealth engineer, please get the business cards. Right? They're going to cost you just over 600 rand. You get 500 business cards. I will pay for the expensive black ones when you get to rank 7. You buy the cheap ones at the forefront, right? Before you get to rank one. Get these. Like I said, in this business, first impressions and credibility are so important to building your, your channel. They are fundamental. You cannot come propose this business opportunity to somebody and then tear off the piece of your diary and say, I'm going to write my name and number here for you. You phone me when you considered this business proposition, right? You've got to behave professionally in this business. Always. Please get the business cards. The USB sticks got our videos on there, so if you don't want to use too much data, get the USB sticks. Then we've got power banks, so your cell phone never dies because that's your primary tool in this business. Then we've got the pen, the, uh, the notebook, caps, and those pins are very important because those pins signify people that are earning money at due point. You can only buy a pin if you're earning money, right? And so... It should be a tip to you guys that you should never go ask advice from anyone who doesn't have a pin. Because you're speaking to the zero plus zero club. Right? You don't want advice from the zero plus zero club. Because they tend to talk a lot too. Right? So the moment you get to rank one, get one of the pins. Right? Wear it with pride. Make sure the people that are in your business get the pins when they start ranking up. Alright, so you become a wealth engineer. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got about 500 videos on there. Don't worry, we've categorized everything neatly so that you can go through it. But a lot of knowledge on there, a lot of information. Download the mobile app. It is your primary tool in this business. It reflects in real time exactly what is happening in your entire channel. Right? So download that. And then the moment you download it, update <coughs> your profile photo on it. Because the moment you take a profile photo on our mobile app, we give you 1,000 XP. How much XP do you need for rank 1? 1,000. 1,000, right? <laughs> Clever guys. Um, and it's not one of these, these teenage selfies. You know how the millennials take these photos with the duck lips and the sunglasses on? Right? It's not Tinder. It's a business photo. Okay, so take the business photo. Um, a couple of don'ts that I want to highlight from our code of conduct because I know no one reads the fine print. So I'm going to highlight a couple of things for you. You have to, I don't want to say have to, but you, you need to have the resources to operate as a wealth engineer. Uh, we, uh, some people get a bit offended when I say the business isn't for everybody, right? They think we're going to solve the 10 million unemployed people in the country. The business is not aimed to solve that. We, are, we have targeted the business to empower people that have the resources to thrive in this business, that can empower themselves further. Um, and so if you cannot afford to become a wealth engineer, you can't afford our products, then you typically can't become a wealth engineer. If you don't have access to the internet, or you don't know how to use the internet, or you don't have access to data, you're going to struggle in this business. If you don't have access to transport, you're going to struggle in this business, right? You're starting this business where you're going to be collaborating with people and you're going to be prospecting. You're going to need to see people on a face-to-face -face basis. Not always, probably over the phone a lot or through WhatsApp, but it becomes a very important tool to be able to sit in front of the people that you're working with, right? You need access to transport. Don't ever complete a Dewpoint application form on behalf of somebody else. This is very important because it's actually fraudulent if you do this. You're breaking the law puts us at a lot of risk with the FSB if you're doing this. Uh, you can certainly help someone in their application, but you can't do it for them, right? So we find this happens when people are trying to sign up people who don't have email addresses, who don't know how to use the internet, who don't have smartphones. They say, ah, oh, go just write your details yeah. down. I'm going to do it for you later, right? Illegal. 
So don't do that, please. So that's just a warning from me. Don't add direct family members that are living in your household with you into your business. We call it an anti-stacking rule. Unfortunately, too much manipulation has happened in the past um, within our network. So you can't add family members that are in your, uh, uh, in your household. Right? So that's just a, an easy rule. Uh, don't start your own Facebook dew point page. Please, this kills me. Like, there's a, a designer dies every time you start your own Facebook dew point page. Do you know that? You don't know that? Well, I'm telling you, that's what happens, right? So don't do it. Actually, what you're doing is you're breaking financial services regulation. So you're not allowed to mention or advertise dew point, our subsidiaries, our third parties, or our products. If you do that on social media, if you go on to the Bryanston group and go, hey guys, I've got a job opportunity for everybody. Come join this business called Dewpoint. Oh, the product, you get half price on checkers. Okay? So I mentioned about four lies in there. Um, can you see the risk that it places us in with the FSB? So flat rule, don't do anything on Facebook. We suspend you immediately. We've got a company that's contracted that looks for people doing that. We suspend you, and then there's a whole process to get uh, unsuspended. So just don't do it in the first place. And then take responsibility for your prospects, the people that you engage with and try to bring into Dewpoint, look after them, treat them with respect. We get too many people coming in going, oh, I met Bob on Facebook. He said I should come to the head office and Brendan or Rob will take care of me. No, 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 no. You're building your board of directors. Look after these people. Always deal with these people professionally. Uh, reminder, 10th of February, we've got our inaugural awards evening. So our first awards evening. We did a very big uh, national conference last year, but this time we're doing an invitation-only um, awards evening. It's called Converge. Uh, it's only for rank fours and up. So it should serve as motivation to get to rank four by the end of this month, right? Because the last invitations will go out at the end of this month to the rank fours only. Guys, I remind you, we're at the end. I remind everybody in the audience, there is a single person, a single person in your life that can design your future for you. Do you know who it is? That's yourselves. You've got to be aggressive about it. You've got to have a chip on your shoulder that drives you and motivates you to grab this opportunity with both hands. Right? We are here to support you. You're here for the first time to work with people that will actually collaborate with you. In the workplace, it's become so cutthroat because of the environment, you're now in competition with everybody else. Right? In this business, we work together and we have fun along the way. Right? I hope to see all these faces in Mauritius with me in 11 months' time. Who would like to sit in business class in 11 months' time? Right? Ma'am, would you like some champagne? This is the button to make the chair into a bed. Right? That's on offer, guys. 11 months of hard work. Thank you for your time. Have a wonderful 2018. And if you have any questions, come speak to me. Thanks.